hello fellow couch potatoes welcome to my channel let's get to today's video following mark and lindsay's nuptials it's time for jasmina and michael and katrina and olu to make their big leap let's recap the episode opens with Jasmina and Michael's wedding day as they're both surrounded by loved ones while preparing for their nuptials. Jasmina's sister helps her get ready and do their best to calm her nerves which turn into an upset stomach as the ceremony grows closer. Meanwhile, Michael leans on his siblings as both his parents are no longer alive to physically be there with him. Jasmina's nerves lead to a minor delay, but eventually she makes it down the aisle with a sign of relief as she greets her match. Her confidence grows after reading her vows, leading to a fun mic drop moment of some sorts that makes Michael laugh. I just wanted to be honest and let you know things that I can't promise in our marriage. I can't promise that I won't eat food off your plate after I told you I didn't want any. <laughs> but here are things that I can and will promise to you today. I promise to remember that you are human, just like me, and that we're in this together. <laughs> after sealing the deal with a kiss, the duo take some time to get to know one another over a glass of champagne. At the reception ceremony, the couple takes photos with family and shares their first dance. It's a photo time for Lindsay and Mark as she continues to talk the ear off of her new husband while taking portraits with family and friends. Hi. She's optimistic about the match but worries in a confessional about their cat predicament with five felines between them. As the photo session continues, she asks if Mark's family is there and he tells her about his mom's choice to pass on the ceremony and his dead father. She shares that her relationship isn't great with her mom, creating a bonding moment of some sorts between the pair. We also got a taste of their reception with a first dance and some flirtation at the party. Undeniable. We move over to Katina and Ola and before their big day, we follow Katina and Ola on their dress and tax shopping experiences. Ola's family agrees that Ola might not be ready for a wife as the groom-to-be's expectation of a married life are a little narrow. But Ola's adamant that he's Playboy days are behind him and he's serious about the venture. When the big day does finally arrive, Katina's really nervous but ready to jump in, hoping that her dating days are behind her. Ola wants to change his former ways and Katina worries that her future husband won't find her beautiful. I'm trying to evaluate in my head if I'm crazy or not for doing this. Her fears are thrown out the window when she finally walks down the aisle as he breaks out into tears over how beautiful he thinks she is. He gets down on one knee to propose despite already being in the midst of their nuptials. When they conclude the ceremony, Katina notices just how talkative Ola is and he admits his high energy. Wow, I'm like, <laughs> he has a strong ass personality. Honest, it is overwhelming, and I just hope I can handle my new husband. Moving along to Noah and Steve, who also go dress and tax shopping with their friends and family, but the main entertainment surrounds their wedding day, which we get a little taste of as they prep for the ceremony. Noe cries a lot, but has the support of her friends and family to boost her confidence. Noe mom does her best to comfort her daughter but makes it clear that she will need to give her new husband a chance no matter what she thinks of him. As for Alisa and Chris, they go shopping for their dress and tux and while he talks about wanting a bride so he isn't lonely, she's more concerned about finding the perfect dress. While she tries on a few 
progresses, Alisa reveals she's already bought 10 other gowns but doesn't believe she's high maintenance because she just knows what she wants and expects nothing less. Gorgeous. Yeah. Did you see the what do you think I about this episode? Ola has openly admitted to cheating while Katina expressed constantly being on the receiving end of a cheetah. Do you think this couple will stay married? What are your thoughts on the brides and the grooms? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Hey, Couch Potato, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you soon.